your girl has been missing a lot throughout this week. I know I haven't been posting. I haven't posted a video in like a week. That's so, so, so bad. Like, that is so bad. I am so sorry, you guys. I just been, like, honestly, I've just been really busy. Today's video is going to be on reviewing the Morphe brushes. This is like my first time buying from Morphe. And your girl got stacks and stacks of brushes. Um, I actually have a lot of brushes right now. I don't even know why I spent money on brushes. I have a shit ton of brushes already. I just wanted to get the feel of Morphe brushes, you know? They're not that expensive. Um, compared to how much I've been getting my br my brushes, they are pretty expensive. Because my brushes, I get them for like 7 bucks, Like in a whole like little stack from the Q-Dap. Usually I get my brushes from the Q-Dap. Um... But they take forever to ship, and that's, like, what I really don't like. Yeah, let's open these up and check them out. I'm so excited. Yikes. It smells like factory or something like that. I don't know how many brushes. I hell forgot how many brushes I got, actually. So I'm just going to count for you guys. Most of them are blending brushes. I have a lot of big brushes already, so... You know, I was like, you know what? I don't really need foundation brushes or anything like that oh so i just didn't buy foundation brushes one two three four so i got 27 brushes here i think i have 28 27 so let's just review all these brushes okay empezando ahorita okay so my first brush is the e17 and that's how it looks like it's a little awkward. We go take a little pointy brush, like a pointing blending brush. Whoa, they're like so soft. Let's see if I have a brush similar to this one. So this brush is from Zoeva. This is from the Q-Dap. I don't think it has a number. Oh, it says two thirty-one. I have actually, I have a review on these brushes as well. But this, these two actually look like. Do you guys see that? This one is pretty soft as well. I think this one's more softer though. This one's pretty soft too though. Hmm. They're both the same. Well then, I guess I have two same brushes. Now moving along, this one, M433 brush. And that's how it looks like. It's like a flat. So the how you guys can tell it's flat or not, there's like a little dent right there. And that's when you know it took a flat brush. I have a lot of these brushes. And then I got this G4 brush. Why did I get this brush? I don't know. I'm probably going to use it for like contouring or something. I don't know. Ooh, so soft. I like it. Ooh, I could do this all day. Oh, I want to touch my face. And this one is M496 brush. The little fan. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Like, barely has any hairs. How much was this? Like, five bucks for this little fucking fan. Gotta be like... Oh my goodness, your girl's gonna be all fancy with these brushes, though. Pretty thin, as you guys can see. You guys can see through this. Look at me. See that? Not that many brush hairs. Okay, now moving along. This is the M510 brush. That's what it looks like. It's like a little round blending brush. Hala, 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 hala. I think I would use this for my highlighter. It's like my cheeks. It still has that factory smell. And then this one is an M212 brush. That's how small it is. I usually use this brush for like, let's say, if I want to like fix my eyebrow with the little details and stuff. This one I could probably use for like making, creating like little festival designs or something like that. Pretty small. Then I got this fan brush over here. This one is M558. That's how it looks. It's a little bit bigger than the other fan. I don't have fan brushes. So I wanted to get these two. I got this big blending brush. This one's an E22 brush. What would I use this one for? I don't know. Blending shit out, obviously. Then I got this pointy, pointy, really stiff blender right here. This pointy blender right here. This one is a MB27. That's how it looks, you guys. This one is E11. 
is flat angled brush. It's pretty thick. As you guys can see, it's bigger than my finger. I My angled brush that I use to conceal my eyebrows is not this big. It's actually smaller. It's like half of this. I would use this for my cut crease eyeshadows or to make straight lines. Any straight lines on my face, like for festival looks, obviously. I got this one, this flat one. This one is a B41. That's how it looks. It is flat and straight as fuck. I'll conceal with this one. Ooh, and I got this one. This one I'm excited about because my spoolies are falling apart. So I got a new spoolie that has comes with a little angled brush right here. Obviously, I'm going to be using this one for my eyebrows. B74 brush. And then this one's flat. As you guys can see, there's like a little dent right there. That's how you tell, notice that it's flat. So this one is the E19 brush. Pointy eyeliner brush, as you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to take this off for you guys. Like a pointy eyeliner brush. This one is the M44 brush. That's how it looks. Pretty damn pointy, to be honest. It's really pointy. Stiff. And then this one is an E37 brush. This one is like a little pointy, pointy blending brush as well. Um, I wouldn't say that it's similar to this one. This one is this one is the MB27, the one that I previously showed you guys. I wouldn't say it's similar. This one's a lot smaller, as you guys can see. Maybe this one's like a little bit more like of a detailed, really, really detailed blending brush. You want to really go into like the crease or something like that. And this one is a Morphe B47 brush. This big one right here, it's pretty round. What would I use this for? Probably like putting on my 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 um powder. A little flat, it's not like all like circular around. It's like flat right here and then like a little bit more around over here. This one is the B5 brush. I would probably use this to like put my powder on maybe. <laughs> like just dabbing the powder on. Um, well it's like scratch right there. That's kind of lame. It's like gold underneath. Um, but I could just like, I don't know, I, obviously I could use this for like my foundation. I'm not really of a fan of putting on your foundation with brushes though. But I mean, I could try, I guess. And this one is the M573 brush. This one is kind of similar to this one. This one is the E22 brush. It's kind of the same. The E22 brush, which is a dark one, is a little bit more thicker though. But they are kind of the same thing. This one's a little bit more pointy. This one's a little bit more round. Can you guys see that? And then this is another eyeliner brush that I got. I have a shit ton of these, to be honest. But I mean, fuck it. It doesn't hurt to have another one. This one is the E250 O. E50 Zero, whatever. That's how it looks, you guys. Just like this little stick right there. And then this one is the M441 brush. You guys can see it's pointy. It kind of looks like this one. To be honest, like basically. So this is the one I previously showed you guys. And then this one's like a bit more pointier than this one, I guess. But they're like the same thing. Kind of. This one's like fluffy, pointy. This one's like st stiff, a little bit more like um, stuck together, pointy. But they're basically the same thing. Did I order the same one? No, I didn't. They're both different, as you guys can see. They're both different. But I guess they kind of look the same. Now, that's what I was really afraid of. Like, I, I don't know. I had so many brushes in my cart. I was just like, you know, I'm just going to buy them, fuck it. Because uh, you know how sometimes the quantity, it says one or two? Well, all of them said one. So I was like, okay, maybe they're like different. So I bought them and it turns out that they may have different names, but they kind of have the same features, like like the ones that I just previously showed you. And then, okay, so this one is an M507. That's how it looks. It's like a little pointy one. I wouldn't say that this one is the same as... So these two are different. This one's the one I previously showed you guys. This one is the one that I'm showing you right now. This one's shorter. Yeah, they're not the same. Like, what am I doing? Um, they are different. This one's like a pointy, big blending brush. I like it. So, like, soft. All of them are really soft. Ooh, this one's nice. Um, this one's the E36. This 
This one's a round. A round blending brush is just like round. No pointiness or anything. It's just like a round, round blending brush. And this one's like M408. Ooh, San Jose was good. And then that's how it looks. It's like a flat brush. Basically just to like, just put the base on. Um, so this one is a B81 brush. Really big blending brush. I think this one's the same thing as, you know, like this one? Kind of the same. Just that it's black. This one's a little bit more like out though, and then this one's a little bit more pointy. This one is the MB23. That's how it looks like. It's like straight and then like flat, flattish in the top. Not really of a round figure or a pointy one. Round and then flat on the top. Ooh, now this one. This one's a blending one, blending plain brush. This one is the M506. That's how it looks like. It's round and then like a little pointy, small pointy brush. This one is really similar to the M507 brush. And it's like two, one number away. So this one's the one I'm showing you right now. And this, and this one's the one I previously showed you. They're just different color, basically. They're like the same thing. Okay, that's kind of sad. They have the different number, different like color. I mean, I guess. And then they're, they're like the same thing. Am I stupid? Or am I stupid? I just got really excited to be buying the brushes. Like I said, I bought these with my birthday money. So I was just really excited to buy myself some Morphe brushes. But you guys, don't get too excited with your things. Actually... Pay attention and see if they're kind of the same thing. This one is the M562 brush. It's like a little awkward. It's like kind of, it's like um, around, but it's like flat and then out. Like it's flat and out. Do you guys see that? Flat and out. It's really cute and awkward. Um, this is the M330 brush, and it's just like a round pointy one. Maybe I would say the closest one to this one is this one, which is a M441 brush. They're kind of the same. This one's a little bit more like stuck together though, and this one's a little bit more like fluffy. This one's a little bit more round pointy. This one's a little bit more pointy. Do you guys see that? Kind of the same thing though. Last but not least. Oh my god, thank god. This is the last one. Probably I would use this for my under eye. Um, M213 brush. That's how it looks. And that's it for the brushes, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, would I say that they're different from any cheap brush from the cute app that I usually get? No, they're all soft. But they do have the numbers and that's what makes them, I guess, a little bit more helpful when people want to like actually get the same eye look as the YouTubers. Actually, um, I'll put the link of these uh, brush reviews down below and you guys can see how I feel about these brushes. These brushes are from the Kid app. They're a little bit cheaper. I think I bought them like a set of 12 for like 13 bucks now. So basically a dollar each brush and they're really good. I use them all the time. I love them. Um, but yeah, those brushes are really good as well. If you guys want to save some money, um, go get yourself some cute app brushes, but get the right ones because some of them do come like shit. You get what you pay for, basically, type of thing. But I'll put the link down below for these brushes. These brushes are really good. I love them. Um, Morphe brushes, I like them. Just that they kind of, I got some brushes that kind of do repeat themselves, and that's what I really didn't like. Um, other than that, I like the brushes. But it is my first time buying Morphe brushes. That's you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. Bye. When oh, I got my nails done for you guys because, oh my god, your girl was ratchet for like months. So, yeah. See you guys later. If you have any comments, concerns, thumbs up, thumbs down in this video down below. Uh, anything helps. I, I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me reach 250 now. Subscribers. I am so excited about that. You have no idea. Like, I came from like a long way from like 25 subscribers to like 250 now. It's freaking amazing. Um... And I love you guys when you guys comment and try to talk to me. That's really cool. I love that too. Um, so don't think I notice you guys. I see you guys. I see you. I see you. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.